What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes. And today we are on the live stream and we are recording some of our account tune-ups. And of course we get that, that notification right as we go. Thank you guys so much, Kratos. Thank you for that sub, man. But we are on Toffee's account. So we are on Android 816, I believe. Uh, we're in a pretty solid VIP, almost VIP 9 account, I believe. Uh, but yeah, we have a pretty solid mid-game PvP-esque server. Um, interesting hero combinations. Usually you don't see a carry this early. You really don't. But you got two Garudas in the works, which which means we are working on Sealand Forest. So we got Forest here, 14. Yeah, that's pretty much where you're stuck, just because... You need that you need that second Garuda to E5 for the shield. Um But yeah, I mean you're you're working on the right food. You got a nine star heart watcher, which is good. Let's check out the gear, the stones, and the enables. Uh holy, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, crown can be pretty decent, especially in mid-game when you don't actually have good pay-to-win artifacts, but full warrior set looks good. Um, yeah, that's a decent setup, I would say, especially since this one is using a crown. Uh, I kind of like the alternating attack and uh, health enable, so that's not bad at all. And then you have a regular skin, it looks like, as well. The second one, full warrior again. Mm, lucky candy bar. Love to hate it. <laughs> especially since there's, like, there's not many stun heroes in the game right now, but... The one thing I will say, I know we give Lucky Candy Bar a lot of flack for not being a great pay to win artifact. But like early, mid game, even into late game, it actually has some use because the sheer amount of people that run Cruise is a lot. And Kratos with that dono, thank you so much, man. I'll cut, I'll read that when we're done here. But it's just that so many people use a Cruise. I mean, look at this lineup right here. We got a Cruise. We got a Cruise, and we got... No, we don't have a Rui Scepter. That would be really overpowered early game. But, um, but I mean, the way you got these heroes set up, having a crown this early is amazing on Garuda for PvP. Just absolutely amazing. Um, and like I said, Lucky Candy Bar is not all that bad, especially since this one's only E2. At E3, you have Purify, so you could figure you don't really need it. But, uh, I mean, Cruise is a very... Pre Prevalent? Prevalent hero <laughs> in the mid game of Idle Heroes, and he's super strong, and that stun is super high percent chance. So Lucky Candy Bar can be pretty good. Um, it's a decent stone for now. Don't worry about re-rolling it until later on. But um looks like you're going more offensive. That yeah, can be fine. That can be fine. Uh but as far as Sealand goes, the E2 Garuda pretty much doesn't do anything because she ends up getting just completely one shot. So yeah, Cruz, you got split gear on, kind of, kind of, kind of. What's up, June, with the two subs? Thank you so much, man. Um, So, honestly, with this here, first off, you should at the very least be running this setup here. At least four-piece. Um, Honestly, though, since you really don't care about the attack, I would go down to two three-piece here. The only difference, I would say, is if... If your cruise is too tanky for PvP, you might want to adjust it and give him less HP. That's something you consider about. But you do also have... Ooh, you got a couple of the skins, huh? You got an extra skin here as well. Nice. But yeah, split gear would work pretty good. And like I said, you don't really have many amazing artifacts. You got another damage roost here, which will be good. But yep, not too bad. Uh, oh, I totally forgot. I started on the Garudas and totally forgot to look at your carry, man. So... Full Ranger set with Augustus and Speed HP. Decent, personally. I like Speed Attack better. But mid-game, it might be better to make her tanky. It really could because she might. She actually might be one of the tankier heroes on your team. If she does die earlier, it's not a huge issue. Speed. Um, I guess this one's kind of up to you. I'm not sure if you like running balance strikes so she dies early and then your weaker heroes die and she resurrects and gets another active off eh, we'll have to see we'll have to see i guess it's more or less uh, i'll kind of leave it up to you because it does seem like you know what you're doing and at the end of the day 
you know what your PvP meta is on your server group better than what I can. I mean, we can take a peek in here to try to see, but until you've actually fought a lot of the fights, you really don't know. Uh, Penny. Let's see. Unimax, Garuda. So you're pretty much in line with most of these. I mean, you're definitely on the stronger end of this server. But yeah, like you see, you see tons of crews everywhere. So Lucky Candy Bar is actually a pretty solid item for, uh, for Garuda right here. I would say it's pretty solid right here. You got, yeah. I mean, you're you're perfect in the meta. You're perfect on the top end of the meta, which you should be for a VIP 8 account, which is awesome. But um, yeah, as far as your food heroes, it does look like you have three of them. You're just waiting to try to make one or two of them a 10 star. Most likely, you probably want to just hold on to the Rosa. Don't make Rosa food just yet unless you absolutely need it to make like Garuda E5. Because that Rosa will help out in Sea Land. You know, let's take a peek. Let's take a peek. I see you left. You left one energy left. One. Let's see how this goes. So let's put a lineup like uh, something like this in. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Maybe we get like super lucky. Oh, Kratos with the five gifted subs and looks like Reed finally got one too. Thank you so much, man. All right, let's see, let's see. So we got the passive, or we got the basic lowering the armor reduction. We got that as well. The problem is going to be this boss right here just one shots this E2 Garuda. And that's the biggest thing. And that's why you have to have E5 Garudas. You just simply have to. There is no other way around it. You gotta have E5 heroes once you're pushing up to like 15 plus in Sealand, no matter what the faction is. Um, but yeah, overall, this is looking pretty solid. It does look like for light heroes, you pick Terra to be your first 10 star. I mean, not bad. I would have probably preferred a Bell Rain instead, but it looks like you had the Terra copies. You got an extra Terra copy there. Uh, you don't have any shards to buy any elite copies, but you do have one Garuda chilling in the bag. So you already have the E4 Garuda. Don't have feathers for a copy yet, but yeah, just play the slow play game. Try to get, honestly, the first thing you need to try to do is just get two more field copies or Margaret copies and then build a six star or use a six star dummy. And then you can just make those 10 stars and start going to town on this Garuda. So you honestly have like a really good path to power up this account really, really fast. I uh, didn't look. Yeah, you're tapped out of scrolls and profit orbs. So this isn't an account that really cares about the new anniversary event coming up. But I went Terra because the game gave me copies. Still haven't got a single Ada copy. Meanwhile, I'm over here feeding off Ada copies. <laughs> uh, I know, I know. Terra can be solid, though. And, I mean, you already probably have Warrior Tech as well, so that's not a bad idea. Yeah, it looks like you've already invested in the first tier. You got the Ranger gear. I haven't unlocked that yet. Or Ranger Tech, sorry. Libin Priest. Um, As you get, after you kind of finish off some of those, I'd at least get the Assassin HP rune if you need assistance in PvE, having Heart Watcher living, because that can be a struggle for sure. But, um... Yeah, overall, pretty, pretty solid account. Do you have any questions at all, Toffee? If you do, make sure you send me some uh, some info. But, I mean, you're on a perfect path here. You already have two nine stars ready to become ten stars. I imagine if you want to this event, you have some gems. You might want to spend a little on this event. Maybe spend 100, get the dice pack, the 40 dice or whatever, and go for the nine star dummy. Not a bad value in that because you got to figure it's the same price as the uh, the monthly one that costs 100 in the pack. Plus, you're getting all those extra spins, all those resources. You have a little bit of gold and a little bit of spirit and promo stones. So you're sitting okay on a lot of things, on a lot of things. You could definitely use some more work. But overall, pretty solid. I'm, I'm liking where this is going. It looks like it's a really good setup. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions or need help with deciding things down the line let me know as always hopefully hopefully you get to get that Garuda up pretty quick but if you need help let me know and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>